Well, there it is. We've got this caster wheel off. You can see it's bent. I'm going to bring that over to the other storage where uh, Nick will be working today. It's going to put a brake controller in my Yukon and I'll have him heat that up and straighten it out. Could use a new wheel on there, but it should get us through the spring. Uh, put a hook in here. There was pre-existing holes. So that was easy. That link will come out. Um, put a snap ring because that's what I had. Uh, this one I can take out. I originally was going to do a V with the chain and use a lighter chain, but I had this. It, it, the hook fits the, the snap ring. So we just did one side that uh, holds it up higher and more secure. These, this would drop down in these notches here and we would still lose a foot of space on the trailer. Um, that we, and these are notorious for, you, you can, I don't know if you can see, these are worn, they, they don't hold very well. You hit some bumps and it's continually falling down. So the, the chain is, you know, you get off, you drop the dethatcher. When you're done with it, you get off, put it back up. The, you know, not having to get out of the seat is a nice feature, but it's not that big a deal. So, um, once we get that, that wheel fixed, I'll adjust the height. You can see there's the set screw. We'll adjust the height on these. So these are the right height for engaging the turf. And hopefully this, this is our weak link right here, the, the mount bar. And uh, time will tell. It's only bolt. If we weld it on, it's not weak anymore. So there, you know, uh, it's, I'm, I'm very happy with the way this project turned out. Um, so I'm going to go bring the Yukon over where uh, Nick can get at it. Weight restrictions are on. He can't bring his service truck to this location. And then I will bring the 425 over here to change oil and I'll bring this back to storage because it's ready for spring. I did sweep out the shop too. There was lots of metal filings and shavings and pieces of scrap metal laying around that had been cut and uh, floor dry all over, swept that all up, cleaned it up so we weren't stepping through that and tracking through it. And uh, Nice to keep the shop clean, that's one thing. <coughs> if you look at some of my other videos, um, cleaning the shop is like a two year, uh, you know, twice a year project. Um, we basically just run you know, Mach 3 with our hair on fire from one thing to the other. And we're trying to get better at putting our tools back when we're done and putting things away when we're done and, you know, and keeping the shop clean. And it's just not my, it, it, it's, it takes a real effort on my part to do it. Uh, I, I, you know, but um, I'm gonna put those nuts and bolts back in their organizer on the wall there. Because it, it does bother me, but sometimes when you have to prioritize, you just don't ever get to the bottom of the list. And uh, 
that, that seems to happen way too often. But I'm going to clean up a little bit before I go on to the next project. I, here's my extra steel from this project. Um, I think I think I need to mount a dethatcher on our walk behind Toro as well. I don't remember that we did that last year. So when we're done changing oil on the 425, that will be our next project that comes into the shop. But I do have some uh, some other responsibilities that I um, recently come into. Uh, so I need to spend uh, some time on those today too. So uh, might be a while before we get another video. For those of you who do, you know, share, watch, you know, comment, subscribe. Um, tell me what you'd like to see. Tell me what you think I'm doing wrong. Whatever. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye.